Hey guys, good evening. This side, Rahul Magan here as a group chief executive officer, Treasury Consulting, and also a venture capitalist. Now, standing today, as we promised that we are starting our January covering the animated videos. And as you very well understand that Treasury Consulting knowledge in foreign exchange and all asset classes is extremely, extremely comprehensible. And sooner we would be linking our animated videos with our both terminals Reuters as well as Bloomberg. Today we are going to uh, covering a topic which is known as commodity exchange. As we very well understand that commodity exchange is shortly known as COMEX. Now COMEX stands commodities exchange. The top commodity exchanges of the globe is definitely the CME, Chicago Mercantile Exchange, is definitely LME, London Metal Exchange, SGX, Singapore Stock Exchange, and DCE, Dalian Commodity Exchange. They all are the top commodity exchanges of the globe and in fact, nowadays the situation is like that, there are spread trades which are going between these exchanges. Precisely speaking, spread commodity trades which are going between these exchanges. Now these commodity exchanges across the globe are very well, very well versed and what they are offering. You must be surprising that I have not captured MCX, Multi Commodity Exchange of India. I, let in, I will let you know the reason. Now these commodity exchanges, they are covering everything like this. They are covering FX futures and guys they are covering almost all currencies of FX future. You just name it and they have the FX future ready. ready. In fact, several commodity exchanges and especially CME they even covering that currency futures which is oops which is above the head and that is the beauty of the CME. These exchanges also covering the precious metals and we very well understand that the precious metals are always in demand and especially when we are talking today. Example, today on 24th, precisely 25th when we are speaking, the gold is trading $19.31 per ounce while silver is around 26.54. Then these exchanges trade very important thing because without this I really doubt anything can possible and that is known as the base metals. In base metals, they are covering zinc, tin, copper, aluminium, platinum, sorry, copper, aluminium and all. And then what they are covering and that is the beauty of life, which is gases. I will term this gases plus crude. Gases plus crude. They covering gases plus crude. Please ignore this O, right? Now, the issue right now which we have in commodity exchanges is the following because, you know, uh, what is what exactly do we need if we going to have the, if we really wish to have our future in commodities? Now, first of all, we need to understand very importantly that if anyone would like to have a wish in uh, commodities anyone wanted to participate in commodities then he needs the following three skills and these these three skills are pretty much essential in nature so for example let me rub this canvas now the following are the skills that he would be needing if you really wish to be a part of the commodity number one you need a very strong fundamentals of commodities like how it behaves and especially it comes to gases and crude. These strong fundamentals can only possible provided you will do a lot of study about the market, you will continue to be on the Bloomberg, Reuters, you will continue to link yourself what is happening around political, non-political, guys, everything. Second thing you really need to do to work around if you really wish to do is the research part. Research is very essential in commodities and without doing research, expecting return, it's, it's a myth, biggest myth. And third very important thing which we have is definitely the timing. 
timing factor is very very essential which we have in especially in commodities because commodities if because in equities you can purchase a share you can hold it for one year two year three years but in commodity you cannot hold it example when we are talking the gold is around 1931 right now shall i buy gold today i don't think so i need to buy gold because i would be buying gold if the gold would be reducing closer to 1922 to 1923 this is the right level of the gold buying i am not going to be buying gold at this level and most important combination fourth which is the currency composition now you must be thinking that why i am talking about the currency composition guys always remember one thing that commodities plus currencies currency means remember that not many people understand this concept carefully and i cannot explain this concept in just 5 to 6 minute video commodities movement can easily be tracked using variety of currencies and commodities plus currencies is equals to movement that is now this movement can either be can either be divided into two parts let me rub this you this movement which is sum of currencies plus fx can be divided into two parts now one is the direct pairs and guys another is the indirect pairs i really do not know whether you know or not but across the globe there are total total foreign exchange currencies across the globe is 189 out of which the total non deliverable currencies is 24 as at today it means the total non non deliverable currencies is around 165 if you really wish to participate in commodities and you really wish to learn how commodities work you need to understand this composition very well this is how currencies world like take an example if today gold when we are talking is trading around 131 then the gold movement can clearly reflects in direct pairs and gold movement can clearly reflects in the indirect pair also like take an example today morning indian rupee went to almost 74 many people bought indian rupee i also bought indian rupee and now when we are talking indian rupee is around 74.56 and many people even do not know that indian rupee is a non deliverable currency and it trades 24 into 7 sorry 24 into 5 saturday sunday is chutti right this is biggest thing which we need to understand now why we not included mcx here because of this reason when it comes to mcx mcx is equals to comex plus minus indian rupee impact and definitely one thing which we cannot forget in our whole life is operators like indian equity exchanges i don't want it to comment on two stocks but i hope you guess that without having any business from the last 3 months the stocks are 60% up and this can only possible only in india indian stock exchanges because operators are you understand here mc is equals to comex plus minus inr plus operators how operators move and more importantly it also includes plus minus volatility this is the reason why i reluctant to trade at mcx another important reason which we have which is the beauty of comex is that comex is equals to dollars so whatever you do it comes in dollars whatever you do it comes in dollars while if i do in mcx then i have to deal in indian rupees so i am subject to usd inr 
currency movement. So this was our first video which we explained. This side Rahul Magan, you are most welcome. In our animated videos, something which was missing on our YouTube channel and now it is definitely a reality. Now you can contact us. This is our fixed income platform www fixed income dot global and my number whatsapp number nine eight one eight four eight five one double five i would like to let everybody know very carefully that treasury consulting in april promised app the android app is on the phase second of the android app started last week we promised animated videos and animated videos are on now and hell lot of action is on the cards i wish you all the very best and have a great time sir